What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up, people? I'm trying to do a video right now, and y'all won't, y'all won't stop talking. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So nihilism is a belief that all values are baseless, and that nothing can be truly known or truly communicated. Okay, that's so interesting because they're saying like. Obviously, it's not a literal thing that they're saying. Like, nothing can be truly known or truly communicated. But what they're saying is, like, nihilism is the idea that that nothing is ever truly known. Like, like the idea that um, it's all sort of, like, everything here is, like, transient. That it's not actually, it's not actually, like, something that has meaning. Because in order for something to be real, it has to have meaning, and this doesn't have meaning. So some people say that nihilism is so much existentialism, but it's not really. Nihilism is a very skeptical view, a much more skeptical view than even pessimism or like existentialism. So many philosophers are looking for future ideas that are more optimistic and more likely to inspire happiness. Because nihilism is an idea that we can understand, and more or less we have no idea where to go from there. So, we take this idea of nihilism, and we say, what other philosophers are out there that we can talk about? Well, in our next video, we can explore philosophies such as existential nihilism, romanticism, and progressivism. So the big philosophies include stoicism, absurdism, hedonism, which is my personal favorite, solipsism, idealism, relativism, and general atomism. So utilitarianism is another cool philosophy that we can look into. But a lot of people think that utilitarianism and existentialism are the most thought-provoking concepts of all those philosophies that I just mentioned. So you should also note that it is a very skeptical view that we're talking about nihilism now. So nihilism is a very skeptical view that may have arisen out of religion and things like Christianity itself, maybe because Christianity is known to be very, to be very negative. Um, so when I ask Ch like ChatGPT what nihilism is, I tend to give a very one-sided, a very like basic answer. Don't tell me that nihilism originated from existentialism and is similar to it, but it will not provide a complete overview of the type that I'm looking for. It even split nihilism into four different categories without even explaining the categories. Like so. So I was going to put up a picture of it, but I might not. So to be honest, I'm not a big proponent of artificial intelligence. Even though I have a strong background in computer science and technology, I'm not the biggest fan of artificial intelligence, but I do use it for captioning. I think YouTube and other platforms use it to coordinate the subtitles sometimes. So the best way to get an idea about what something is, is to do a search on Merriam-Webster. Really is the best way to get any information about what something is.